Good morning, it is Lauren here and today I'm going to be showing you my simple everyday like five minute makeup routine and this video is going to feature a bunch of products from this company called Merit. That was upside down. <laughs> this is going to feature a bunch of products from a company called Merit. So it was founded by Katherine Power and she is the same founder of the company called Who What Wear and First Beauty and so I'm really excited to do this video with them. They sent me a whole bunch of products to try out so I haven't used any of them yet and I'm going to be trying them out in this video and just talking and catching up. So now I'm going to be showing you my simple everyday makeup routine with Merit Beauty. So I really like how their box and packaging and everything is recyclable. I really appreciate that. And they sent everything over in this really cute little makeup bag. I'm going to start with a moisturizer. I like to use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. That's my favorite moisturizer. Also, I'm using my BTS mirror. I actually love this thing so much. My skin's gone really dry lately for some reason. Um, I recently started to see a dermatologist and he put me on some medicated products. So I've been using a cleave for the past maybe month or so and it's been working really well for me. Like I haven't really gotten a breakout in the entire time that I've been using it. While I wait for it to soak in, I wanna tell you a little bit more about Merit. So I really like the vision behind Merit's products because they are all about that natural look and like enhancing your natural beauty, which I love because in the past I used to wear so much makeup. It looked really bad. I wasn't that good at doing makeup, like especially in grade nine in grade 8 they kind of explain on their website how over the past year we've all gotten so used to like wearing no makeup at all and so they wanted to create a line that like just enhanced your natural beauty um, all their products are cruelty free vegan and their packaging is recyclable and their products are also safe for sensitive skin which is really important to me because my skin is sensitive so let's get started with their first product that they sent over so this product is called the minimalist they describe it as not a concealer but not a foundation it's just to use as a spot treatment on dark spots or under eye circles or scars that kind of thing so they just want you to use it on some areas of your skin so I'm just gonna apply it to some of the problem areas so I have the shade silk here for my skin and it looks like it's a pretty good match for me this looks so natural wow so I really like how this is like a mix between the foundation and the concealer but it still lets my real skin shine through so I don't know if you can see I'll let you look up close Next product that I wanted to try out was their brow product and I've been wanting to get like a tinted brow gel for a while because I don't like how it looks on my eyebrows when I try to do like a actual eyebrow product like with a brush. Um, so next I'm just going to try out their cheek color in the shade Mood. It's just like a cream blush. I've been getting into cream blushes lately because they're just so easy to like put on um, and they look really nice. I used to be really scared of wearing blush because of my acne scars just because I thought it would just make them stand out a lot more. But I actually think it makes them look better in my opinion. So I'm just kind of tapping it on and then I'm going to blend it out with another clean brush. I think I've come to the point that I don't wear makeup every day now. Um, I just want a natural look and I don't want it to be too heavy I just want it to feel comfortable if I'm gonna be wearing it so I really like how comfortable this feels I like to put a little bit on my nose as well my hair is at the stage where it's like all over my face I can't tuck it behind my ears yet and so it's just like all over I actually wanted to try putting a little bit of this blush on my eyes so I'm taking this morphe brush and I'm just gonna try to like pick up some of the product from the actual blush thing and swipe it on my eyes and see how that works I live in Ontario and we've gone into like full lockdown again like everything's closed anything that basically isn't like food or pharmacies is completely shut down thankfully we've got some vaccines rolling out hopefully things are going to end soon i'm planning on going back to an in-person school for my grade 12 year um i wasn't planning on that originally but i think i need to like go in person it's grade 12 and i want to enjoy it with like other people and not just be stuck in my house if i don't have to be okay let's try out their next product so this is their highlighting balm and I have the shade Cava. It's like a cream highlighter almost, so it just makes your cheeks like glow, which I love. I feel like you can kind of put it everywhere. And then I'll take the same brush that I use for my foundation and just tap it into my skin. 
So I've kind of been trying to change up the concept of my channel. I'm just doing more of a chill, not as serious and like educational type of content. I don't think that really suits me very well anymore. So um, I've been kind of making it a bit more chill, like vlog style. You guys really liked my capsule wardrobe video again, which I was really happy about because I love doing those kinds of videos as well. So what I do with my eyelash curler is like I put it like under my arm and like hold it there to heat it up a little bit because it gets so cold. So yeah, I think another thing that's helped with my skin a lot as well has been taking um, like vitamins, like multivitamins. So right now I'm taking the Nature's Bounty, like they're the vitamins with biotin I think in it, but I think they've been helping with my skin. So let's just put on some mascara. So what I like to do is if I don't have any product on my eyes, I'm kind of like messy with my mascara and I'll let it go on my eyelids. Um, and then I just take a Q-tip with some makeup remover and I put it on the Q-tip just to remove the stuff on my eyelids. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, so last step would be my lip product. So they have these tinted lip oils, so... Oh, that feels nice. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't like it when it feels super heavy, but this one doesn't feel too heavy at all. Okay, I need to do my hair, because I literally look disgusting. <laughs> Sometimes I'll put a hair roller in. Okay, so here's my finished look. It's super natural. You can still see my skin through it and it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup and it looks nice. Um, it doesn't seem to be transferring a lot either, which is really good. But overall, I really like it. I like how simple it is and you don't need a lot of brushes and uh, beauty blenders and sponges and stuff in order to use it properly. So yeah, um, I have a link below if you want to shop these products. It is an affiliate link, so if you just click the link below, you can buy some of these products for yourself in Canada and America. If you want more makeup related videos like this, like where we're just catching up and talking, please let me know because I love filming things like this as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.